everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Katie. Today's video is going to be a bunch of fall DIYs and showing you how I decorated my home for fall this year. I'm so excited. This is one of my favorite seasons. It's just so cozy and then it leads right into the holidays, which is my favorite season, but this is a nice lead up to that. And all of these things that we're making today are things that you can leave up throughout the month of November, well through Thanksgiving. They're perfect for the fall holidays. There's nothing like Halloween themed or anything like that. So I'm just really excited to get into this. So let's go ahead and get started. I was wandering around Home Goods one day and I saw this little pumpkin shaped bowl. It's oven safe and it's meant to be a mini casserole dish or a soup bowl, but I thought it would make the perfect candle. I had two fall candles from last year in similar scents, so I put them into pots on the stove and I added some water, which went about halfway up the candle jar. I turned the heat to low and let the wax slowly melt. As they were melting, I got the rest of my materials together. I decided to use two wicks for this candle because it's pretty wide, and then I also used some glue dots to put on the bottom of the wicks to keep them in place while I pour the wax in. These candles were pretty big, so it took about an hour for the wax to melt fully, and then I used some pot holders and very carefully poured them into the pumpkin dish. I usually like to use some skewers, wood dowels, or even chopsticks to hold the wicks in place while the wax cools. I like to let this cool and then set for a few days, but 48 hours at a minimum before lighting it again. I love how this turned out. It's such a great way to make a more attractive candle. So if you have any old candles lying around the house, definitely try this one out. This next one is so simple, but I had some fake flowers that someone gave me a while ago, and I never really used them because the color just isn't my style. They're pretty bright red, and I wanted them to be more of a deep maroon tone for fall. So I found this spray paint that I thought would be the perfect color, and I just got to work painting the flowers. I painted every part of them, including the leaves and stems, and you can already see what a nice deep tone they have now. It's a subtle difference, but it's a very easy way to make a change and not let something go to waste. I really like this new color a lot and it fits in perfectly with my decor. This next one is actually a DIY that went viral on TikTok. It's supposed to be a dupe for this Pottery Barn terracotta pumpkin. I got this super cheap foam pumpkin at Michael's and it had paint drips on it, so it didn't really look very good in the first place. I mixed together some orange craft paint and white paint, and I played around with the colors until I was happy with it. Then I added some baking soda. You've seen this trick a million times by now, I'm sure, but it just works to thicken the paint a bit. I mixed that all together and started painting the pumpkin. I usually do two to three light coats of this mixture, and the point is to make the pumpkin one uniform color, so I also painted the stem. Right away though, I could tell that the color I'd created was looking a little too bright orange, kind of like a neon orange to me, and that was not what I was going for, so I grabbed some brown paint and added a bit of that to the mixture. This made a huge difference. It toned down the color so much and gave it less of a bright orange feel. So I did one final coat of this color and then I let it dry for about half an hour. The last step that you're supposed to do is to add flour right on top of the paint while it's still slightly wet. I've seen people pour the flour on top, but I was a little nervous to add too much, so I sprinkled it lightly and then used my fingers to rub it in. You can also use a dry paintbrush for this step if you want. I did a few rounds of this and that completes the look. I actually really love this one. It's very simple, it's affordable, and it looks really pretty. You can create pumpkins in lots of different sizes and shapes, so I would definitely recommend trying this one out. If you watched my last video, the thrifting video, you might remember this little basket that I thrifted for $2. So I decided I'm gonna put it right here and make a little seasonal tea station. I have so many seasonal teas that are 
like for fall or the holidays and I never drink them or I just forget that I have them because they're not right in my line of sight. So I'm just gonna pop them in this little basket and then I'll actually be able to remember to drink them. And then I also have this little pumpkin plate that I thrifted for a dollar and I'm gonna put it right here as a little spoon rest. Lastly, I wanted to create a window garland, so I got a bunch of fall florals from the craft store, as well as some twine and floral wire. I started by cutting the florals apart into sections and laying them down one piece at a time over the twine. Then I secured them in place with a small piece of floral wire. I like to secure them in multiple spots so they really stay put. I layer each piece over the last to kind of hide the wire. I usually start with a base layer of greenery and then I'll go back in and add more colorful accents. The reason I wanted to make this was because I love my Christmas window garland so much, so why not enjoy something like that during the fall season as well? Once I was happy with the placement of the greenery, I got started on the accent pieces, and I found all of these small picks for just about a dollar at the craft store, and I just pulled off the top piece and added them to the garland. I love making my own garland rather than buying one that's pre-made because it just feels more like me and my own style. I can pick and choose the colors and the types of leaves and flowers that I like. So it's just a fun and easy way to add unique decor to my home. After finishing the garland, I still have these little white pumpkins left, so I cut them off from the long stems and then I made a second garland. I threaded a yarn needle with some twine and then I pushed that through each pumpkin and made a string of mini white pumpkins. My vision for this was to hang it below the main garland for a pretty layering effect in the window. I'm so happy with how this turned out. It's very whimsical and perfect for fall and the best part is that now I can put it up year after year. All right, first things first, let me know in the comments down below which one of these DIYs was your favorite. I can't wait to hear which one you liked the best. And like I said before, this is the start of cozy season, so make sure you're following along. Subscribe so you don't miss any of the holiday DIYs, gift ideas, decorating, all of that good stuff. And as always, make sure you are following me on Instagram because I share some DIYs over there that I don't share here. So if you wanna see all of the DIYs, that's the best way to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon.